Hi, I'm Wonkster1970, and today I'm going to be installing this premium tour pack relocation kit from DK Custom Products on the 05 Harley Davidson Ultra Classic. Let's get started. This is what comes in the kit the instructions, of course, stainless steel mounting plate. Mounting hardware, contains bolts, nuts, lock washers, and washers. I'm supposed to have two cable ties, but I think I lost one somewhere. And the mounting template. First thing I'm going to be doing is removing the seat, and that is held on with one bolt here in the back. Get that off. Think to get into that. Get the bag out. Now I'll lift the seat off. Hopefully without any problems. Move that over on the table. I'm gonna cut a couple of these cable ties off. To get me some extra room so I can move the tour pack. Next thing I'm going to be doing is removing the liner, and that should be held in with two bolts here. Just to clear the studs in here. There are five bolts that hold this tour pack on. I believe this is a 530 seconds. Alan, oh, I thought maybe there would be a star washer on there, but nope. Now that this is disconnected, I'm going to have to try to move it out of the way so I can get the plate on. Well, I finally got everything out of the way. I think while I have this off, I might as well clean this chrome up a little bit. Let's wipe that down. Got this underglow, of course, gave me problems again. And cut a number of cable ties off. But I got the trunk out of the way. I think I can get the plate slid on there now. So let me get that and clean this up a little bit and then I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm supposed to put this plate on here for the five holes to line up. I'm supposed to install two bolts in the front, but do not tighten them. Two inch and three quarter bolts. So I'm just installing the bolt, washer, and a nut. And there we go. So let's put this inch and three quarters bolt through here. Seven sixteenths, of course. I'm torquing this to 14 foot pounds. Yeah, that's 14 foot-pounds. I had to take this back apart and I found it, remembered that I had one of these. I put up on the underside of the rack and I tightened it back down. So now I gotta go and line up the template and drill the holes out. So I've got all the holes drilled out, aligned the template up and got the replacement holes drilled at 3 8 so now I'm going to go and get a vacuum and get all this dirt out of here and then start bolting this back down okay I'm tightening all of these bolts down to 10 foot-pounds okay 
Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five bolts up here. I had to loosen up this plate and pull this wire out from underneath so I could get enough room up here so I can put the cable ties back on and get everything up and out of the way. Up underneath here, I installed a fender washer on each side plus two smaller washers. I just noticed there was some extra space in there so I just put the fender washers in there to keep from putting extra load on the box. I didn't put anything back here. The bolt is pretty long. I'm gonna have to put a shorter bolt in. I had to use three of the original bolts because the ones that were supplied were too long for these. And then, well, these are just as long, but they weren't threaded the whole way. Can show you one, I think, here. This is one of the bolts that came with it. That's a one and three quarter inch bolt. Uh, yeah, one and three quarters, and the other ones are two and a half. And these are too long for <coughs> here these positions and back here or was these two no it was these two and this one but they work for everything else so now I'm gonna put the liner back in and I'm gonna run some cable ties and I've got to reattach my underglow Here's the liner. I'll throw that back in quick. I'm just leaving these wires out. They're protected. It's going to go through anything. It's a little tight again. I see why they put that up in there like that. There's that connector on it. You don't have enough room to get this down in the whole way. So I'm going to have to just push the wire, push the connector up towards that corner. If that gives me enough room. Looks like it. Just enough. There we go. Hold this in, there are seven sixteenths. go that's back in trunk liners in make sure the trunk closes yep yep lights work now I gotta do something about this underglow using some brake clean on a rag clean up the area underneath here where the underglow was. And I'm going to clean off the strips. It's decent.
using some of this double-sided Gorilla Tape for the underglow. Looks like I cut it too short. place to stick this up underneath there. This is the sign of the piece of broke off. So I'm gonna remove the other side of this. Let me get this tape off and then I'll stick this up underneath there. We got this underglow up underneath and I'm trying to get this spring back on here. Get all this piece in. I guess it keeps it from rattling around. of double-sided tape for this yet. Let's see, I need about to there. Now I've got this LED for this strip set up with um, double-sided tape. I'm gonna run it back through here. Kind of running up underneath. Stuck to anything. There we go. Get some cable ties. I got a bunch of these 4x200 millimeters. I'm going to be installing them in here. It should work. So I'm going to go through and cable tie all these up and then I'll be back. Got the cable ties all in place. I got cable ties installed, wires moved out of place out of the way I'm going to go and set the seat back on see how it fits That should work. I think that'll do it. Well, I'll do it for installing the trunk relocation kit. I got this from DK Custom Products. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll include a link to this in the description. And I thank you for watching and stay safe.